as mentioned before in my other video where I change the um, sprockets and the chain uh, and I did a re-gearing from 15.43 to 14 in front and 43 in the back. Uh, now let's see the difference. I'm in sport mode, first gear. Again with um, with slow gear. Now I'm cruising here with 29 in the first gear. In Germany, for example, we have some zones where you can drive only 30. Now I'm 30 in the second gear, and it's okay. You hear that? So the bike is okay. No issue at all. Okay, you can't go in for in not 50. Now 50 city traffic, kilometers an hour, no issue at all in third gear, absolutely. And if you need punch, it's there. Now I changed also the the front, uh, sorry, I changed also the springs. When you do hard braking, it's not that uh, much dipping anymore, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, I have to say, the springs are not yet settled 100%. So today, now I'm gonna do a couple of more kilometers. Uh, I think the round, what I chose is about 150 to maybe 200 kilometers. And then uh, next uh, week, if I got more, more time, another round. And then I uh, go to my suspension specialist, uh, to Robbie, who installed um, uh, the springs for me from MX Performance uh, and we uh, dial the suspension properly in because at the moment it's uh, basically on the recommended uh, standard settings as the Hyper Pro uh, which is quite okay not yet 100% but uh, uh, we will get there and uh, it's definitely a, uh, an improvement over the stock suspension for a little money now I spent roughly 300 uh, euro, including shipping and uh, duty and VAT here in the UAE. UAE. I didn't have to pay any duty back in Europe, uh, which helped a bit uh, with the price. Uh, I paid a reasonable, a reasonable amount here in uh, Dubai at MX Performance for installation of the springs. So, yeah, it's absolutely worthwhile. Uh, does it take a bit longer time than, for example, um, changing completely the rear shock absorber? Uh, yes, absolutely it does, because when you change completely the shock, shock absorber, you take the original out, it's uh, basically one top screw, one uh, bottom screw, and two screws on the preload. And, uh, so basically you just pull it out and uh, add the new shock in. With the front, uh, there is a little bit different. So I changed only the springs. We still disassembled everything just to assure uh, everything is clean and nice and neat. Uh, so basically when you, the other option is a full uh, inner cartridge which uh, Adri Andriani or um, uh, Martis has another brand. You still have to remove everything which is inside and then uh, disassemble it again. Uh, certainly this would be a um, bigger upgrade, but still I didn't do that. Anyhow. I'm gonna enjoy the road, I go now towards uh, direction Hatta and uh, yeah, how many degrees we have, 38 uh, while driving, the engine temperature is already on 87, so yep, 
I'll be back with more. I'm Nikolai Yusko Bondura. Ciao for now.